The ambitious project will become operational early 2014 and will demand close cooperation between partners drawing on their qualified strengths. Through the academy, a network between research institutes, universities and key decision makers will be created. The academy is hoped to serve as a state-of-the-art information source related to soil conservation. The leadership aspect of it is also ensuring that as they attend the academy, they also make pledges, commitments, to ensure that what they do, they will reduce their negative uh, footprint on land regarding degradation and they will also improve whatever they are doing regarding restoration. There is a need for continuous intervention and discussions after the 11th conference of the parties in the capital draws to a close tomorrow. Social media has become so integral to how the world interacts with each other and this will be the basis on which the academy will run as it will not have a fixed location. Syngenta, who recently became observers to the COP, after much protest from civil society members, have thrown their weight fully behind this program. For us to do more with plants is vast, and uh, that means better, better taste, better quality, more natural resistance to diseases and pests. Remember, this isn't just a game for, uh, for GMO or for pesticides. Many seeds today are bred to be naturally resistant to these things and have been over the millennium. We need to continue to foster that. The launch of this academy is seen as a milestone to keeping land degradation at the forefront of all countries' decision-making around the world, as achieving a land degradation neutral world is at the heart of a sustainable future. Reporting for the News on One, I'm Bramalde English.